Hey guys, so as you know, absolute skills are coming to North America and European servers this week. They are coming in five days on the Wednesday patch. So absolute skills are what is essentially referred to as the second awakening. Your first awakening was when you gained your actual awakening. So for my Dark Knight, I got the Vediant here, I got some really cool magic, and I became a mid-range spellcaster instead of a sort of close-range, two-handed magic swordsman. The second awakening lets me go back to being a two-hand, close-range magic swordsman. It allows me to pump skill points into my main and make skills in the main much stronger. Now this will cost a lot of skill points, so if you're like me and have kind of put off grinding for skill points, now is the time to start grinding for skill points, as it will cost quite a few skill points to get the Awakening. And some of these pre-awakened skills are better than others. So Dark Knight, from what the Koreans have been saying, so take everything I say from now on with a kind of a pinch of salt, because the pre-awakened skills are just stronger version of the main skills, so we are not getting the Rabam skills, which are the fusion skills. And the Koreans have been known to be wrong about their effect before. For example, the Koreans said that Striker was not OP, despite the constant buff Striker was getting, and turns out Striker was super OP. They said Mystic was actually uh, pretty weak, especially compared to Striker. Then we got Mystic, and she's even better than Striker. So take everything with a little bit of a grain of salt. But for now, the winners of the pre-awakening seem to be the w Witch, the Wizard, and the Ranger. The Ranger gets a very... Well, she gets to use her bow for one, which is a huge win for anyone that rolled Ranger because they wanted to use a bow. And she also gets some very powerful grinding skills. The Witch and the Wizard get some very powerful AoE skills, especially the upgraded form of Blizzard, which makes them even more of a nightmare in Siege than they already are. So, getting our pre-awakened skills is... Well, getting the awakened versions of them is pretty sweet because there's a lot of really cool skills in the pre-awakenings that kind of get forgotten or left out when you're awakened. Because once you're awakened, most classes, they do not use their awakened skills or pre-awakened skills ever again. It's just, they're, they're done for. You don't need them. They can be relegated to some dark corner, except for a few key ones such as mobility skills or very powerful crowd control skills. Uh, for example, the Dark Knight here can still use Airstrike, Wheel of Fortune, and to lesser extents, Nocturne and Lunacy of Vidir. But for the most part, the rest of her skills are pretty useless. Uh, Magic Bullet's actually pretty useless, or pretty useful rather, but a bunch of the other ones are pretty bad. And Magic Bullet's only really useful in PvP, or Shadow Bullet, and even then it's kind of a niche, uh, sort of a niche thing to use. It's not really one of the better skills, because you can just use your Awakening to accomplish similar crowd controls without having to be in your pre-awakened form. So getting the pre-awakened skills is going to be a lot of fun, we're going to be able to play around with them. Unfortunately, because of how they work, you are not going to be able to play around with them in the same way we could when we were first pre-awakened, because we don't have the free skill point reset up to level 56. When you're level 56 and you're awakened, and you can get your pre-awakened skills, there's no more free skill point resets, so you're going to have to be You'll have to know which skills you're going to want to take unless you have some of the skill book resets for one day, the Armstrong skill uh, resets or skill guide, whatever it's called. Anyways, I'm pretty hyped for these uh, absolute skills. It's going to be pretty cool to see uh, just how they change PvP and PvE in Black Desert. And I hope that uh, it kind of breathes a bit of new life into grinding, which... Not that grinding is in Black Desert isn't fun, but there's only so many times that I can kill these same monsters with the same skills before getting kind of bored. Anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope you enjoy the absolute skills when they come on Wednesday, and uh, have a good one.